You can see in many, many paintings in, in European galleries an aristocratic family and one slave servant either holding the horses or holding a tray or holding a teapot. Naming the money is gathering all those people together. They're talking to each other. They're telling each other their own story. Each one of these figures has a name that is their real name, a name given to them for convenience, the kinds of activities that they and their family used to do, and how they still retain some of that integrity of their real self. And that's what gives each one of them the strength to carry on. I guess all my broader concerns are really brought together in naming the money. There is the participation of an audience, an attempt to understand how to achieve belonging, and that the acknowledgement of one's contribution historically and currently is essential to the richness and the nourishment of a place.